shooting this Kel-Tec KSG shotgun. About a year and a half, or maybe close to two years ago, we reviewed the KSG when it first came out. Dandy shotgun. Um, that one uh, has given me no trouble. It's been just an excellent, reliable weapon. It was all black finish at the time. This one got in here now is tan finish. Other than that, they're pretty much the same shotgun. But it's proved to be a real popular shotgun on the market. It holds 15 shots total. You got seven in each of these. Let me open this up here. These twin tubes right here. Each one will hold seven shots. They feed from underneath here. So your ejection is right out the bottom. So you have no ejection port where anything is coming out the side. And that's good for a bullpup like this. Particularly me, I'm left-handed. And if it was ejecting right here, I'd be getting them in my ear. But it ejects out the bottom. So a right-handers, left-handers, anybody can use it. It's got a cross bolt safety on it right here. It's got, it takes down really easily. Uh, and it's got holes here to hold those pins when you take it apart. Also on this shotgun, I want to show you a couple things to put on it. Uh, it's got a rail on the bottom for putting accessories. And on here, I've got the uh, uh, Crimson Trace CMR205, which got a white light and a laser on it. And we're into here, slag back. I'm going to point this at my cameraman. But he's my brother, and I've got the two more almost good as him. But it's got a 100 lumen uh, white light on it and a red laser on this CMR205. It uh, pushes on easily. You can set different modes on there if you want uh, just the laser to come on or just the light to come on or both light and laser like I've got it set up now. It also has a strobe function for the white light if you want to do that. They claim a uh, battery life of two hours running and after five minutes you forget and leave it on, it shuts off. But it's a, a ambidextrous on the release for your slide right here. You'll slide it open. It's a really nice functioning gun. The only ammo that I've tried in this particular shotgun didn't work, and it works great in my other KSG, is the uh, Remington STS uh, target loads. You just every now and then one would hang up feeding. But for all the serious social work loads, the uh, double off buck, uh, I had some from uh, Sayer and Bellet, from uh, Royal Rio, from Federal, uh, Federal Slugs. Tried different things in here, Remington High Brass, uh, Bird Shot. They all work great in here, and uh, this is a nice short weapon it weighs uh, seven pounds one ounces on my scale and it's, it's short light and handy really good for use in tight quarters but it holds 15 shots of 12 gauge uh, ammunition and uh, you know there's some good loads on the market I like uh, uh, in a house if over penetration is not a problem I like to use number four buck double off bucks good too but I like those uh, 21 pellet number four loads uh, if over penetration might be a problem bird shots really effective at close range some people say it's not, but they're wrong. I've proven that, that it does work, and uh, a lot of dead people would testify if they could that it does work well at close range. Uh, but anyway, not feeding the, uh, the STS target load is not a problem for me because it's, uh, it's not a gun you're going to use on a clay range. It's a gun for uh, serious social work. I've also got on here this uh, illuminated sight on top. It's a triangle illumination a loophole delta point. When you move the gun, it comes on. When you set it down for about seven minutes, it turns off so it's not going to run your battery down. But as soon as you move the gun, it's on, ready to go. For backup sights on here, we've got these uh, offset excess sights. you got a, a sturdy uh, express sight in the rear, and they're tritium dot in the front. So if you like the uh, uh, use the mechanical sights, the open sights, you just turn it sideways a little bit, and they're on for you if something happens to your dot or whatever. Anyway, I've got the three sighting systems on here and a white light all in this compact package. And these are, well, I, I'd say they're available from uh, Caltech, but they're hard to get. You know, as, as you know, if you look for one, they're hard to find, but Caltech does make them right here in the USA. And if you can locate one without paying a, a substantial premium over retail for it, it's a really good shotgun to have. Uh, we've tried the uh, Utosh out here too, and I like this better. It's a little shorter, a little lighter, works a little easier for me. Some people prefer the other gun, but I really like this one. But, Anyway, 12 gauge is uh, very effective for social work. Uh, anytime, you know, if somebody kicks your door in, there's nothing better to, to greet them with than a good load of 12 gauge buckshot. Um, or a slug, if you prefer a slug, you can use that. I prefer to use buckshot for, for my situation. But anyway, this is available. Uh, you can check it out at caltechcnc.com. Uh, Got a full rail here on top where you can mount any kind of optics. Got a section of rail here on the bottom. Some people like a vertical foregrip on it. I do not, but if that's what you like, you can bolt it right on there. I do suggest getting one if you do. 
that don't have the, just the two little contact points. Get you one with a full rail on it so it's not going to be trying to break this off. Uh, they'll grip it really well, give you a better better grip on it. But it's a cylinder bore. Uh, Caltech has some muzzle accessories you can put on there if you want to. I like it just like it is. It uh, works well, does everything I need. Now on the magazine on this thing, you, uh, you can shut off your magazine and that lets you uh, you can load slugs in one side, buckshot in the other if you want to, or load them all the same. Whatever you want to do, when you fire seven, you flip it, fire seven more, and if you had one in the chamber, it gives you 15 total. Now on my uh, Royal Rio uh, two and three quarter uh, buckshot, they're a little bit longer than two and three quarters, so it only holds six of them. So if you're using uh, those or uh, three inch shot shells in here, it'll hold six in each tube. Two and three quarter, most of the stuff you can get seven in each tube. For a total of 15 shots. Anyway, it's a nice shotgun, handy. We really like it, and uh, glad to have it here at GunBlast.com. Shoot this target to show a variety of loads you can use in this, or any 12 gauge shotgun for that matter. We're going to shoot it with a rifle slug first, then we're going to pattern a 9 pellet uh, double lock buck, and then a 21 pellet number 4 buck, all from 10 yards on this target. See the slug hit right center right here, the wad hit there too, but that's showing how tight it patterns at 10 yards. Right here was the double alt load, and I can cover the whole thing with the palm of my hand from 10 yards. So a lot of people think a, a, a load of buckshot is going to just spread and kill everything in that general direction. It does not do it. You still got to aim this thing. Same here with this 21 pellet on this uh, number four buck. It's all right there, size of the palm of my hand, and that's at 10 yards. That's across, you know, that's a a 30 foot room, most of your bedrooms and things will be closer to half that size. So you really gotta aim your shotgun to put that uh, pattern where you need it. But it's very effective, it's a good defensive uh, uh, cartridge. There's nothing better at close range that we can legally own better than a shotgun. Good. I hate to shoot a $5 watermelon, but there's a little bit left. 